Good evening, SAS members, YouTubers, and snackers worldwide. This is Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, with your edition of Pizza Night for Friday night, August 9th, 2013. Sometimes in the world of video entertainment, things just don't go quite right, and this is one of those nights for whatever reason. But, I'll get to that in a minute. Tonight, I'm going to review Atlantis Pizzeria and Family Restaurant in Alexandria, Virginia on King Street in the Bradley Shopping Center. Atlantis has been there for a zillion years, always had very good quality Italian and Greek style uh, favorites, including pizza and pastas and all kinds of Greek stuff that I don't know about, and um, oh, you know, gyros and things like that. And also uh, American favorites, too. They've got barbecue. They've got breakfast. A little bit of everything. Uh, but they are a pizzeria, first and foremost, is what I'm told. And uh, Bill and Jim apparently run uh, Atlantis, which uh, I did not know until today. I don't know who Bill and Jim are, but uh, great, guys. Good job. Anyway, there's their creed. If you can read it, go ahead and pause your video, because I'm not going to read it to you. Looks a little bit blurry, but I don't know. Anyway, so like I was saying, th sometimes things just go wrong. And sometimes you have to start your video all over again. So, when I open this up, you're going to notice that, yeah, the 420 slice is already gone. That's because I already filmed this video once, and I completely screwed it up in more than one way. So, I don't even want to talk about it. Let's go ahead and start from scratch, shall we? First of all, back, with, back to the box. You're going to notice that it's the familiar box that you see from a lot of the local mom-and-pop mom type pizzerias around town. Uh, it's got that kind of story going on there. you got the pizzeria uh, with the romantic dinner happening here. you got your guy playing the violin real nice and quaint. Dude coming from the alley from the other direction, not from the pizza restaurant, to serve them some drinks. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, I did this about a year ago. I'm going to do it again. Guys, if you have a story to tell about this box, what's going on in this box? Who's this guy? Who's the guy with the violin? Are these two cheating on their, uh, their loved ones? Who knows? Are they uh, just married? I don't know. Who cares? Uh, tell me a story about this box. Put it in the comments below, will you? Also, back to the pizza review. So, as you can see, I've already eaten a full slice of this pizza, so I could probably pretty much go ahead and review it. But I'm not going to cheat you of the reg cheat cheat you out of the regular pizza night format, guys. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick it up and show it to you. Now, first of all, the look of this pizza when it was not pack band, uh, it was pretty nice. It's a pepperoni and meatball pizza, by the way. And as you can see, the meatball dispersion is quite erratic. There's tons over here, pretty good amount here, not much going on over here, more back over here. Pepperonis look really good, uh, good disbursement overall, except over here for some reason. I guess they just don't like these slices because they didn't do it right. Uh, and you even got pepperonis stacked on top of each other when that one could be over there filling up space or over here. Anyway, I don't know. Crust looks really good, cheese is nice and browned. Uh, overall, it looks like a really nice uh, pizza. Um, and, you know, I'm going to go ahead and say it was, but I went ahead and put the usual suspects on the pizza. I put the uh, hot pepper flakes, I put the Parmesan cheese, and I put the Cholula hot sauce on this slice of pizza, and I'm going to try it that way. The review without the usual suspects was 5 eighths thumbs up. Let's go ahead and see what I can give it with the usual suspects built in. Go ahead and take a look at the box so you can think of some more stories while I take a bite. So, take two, huh? Alright, anyway, uh, I like that pizza a lot. Honestly, it does bump it up a little bit to have the accoutrements on there. Your uh, hot sauce, your hot red pepper flakes, and um, the, uh, uh, you know, grated Parmesan cheese. Uh, makes it very good. Nice, salty pizza. The cheese isn't all that stre especially stretchy or anything like that. Uh, or, or very chewy or anything. Just regular run-of-the-mill pizza cheese as far as I can tell. The crust is really good. It's got a good kind of bleachy pizzeria taste to it and also nice and chewy. Um, the sauce is more savory than it is sweet. That's pretty good. The pepperonis are good. Um, they're not crispy enough for my taste, but they have a very good flavor. And also, um, let's see here. Um, the, I already talked about the sauce. The meatballs are what's next. And the meatballs, uh, yeah, they give it a 
interesting seasoning to the uh, whole product. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and probably stick with five-eighths of a thumbs up, a little bit over a half of a thumbs up on this pizza. When you figure in the price at about $18 after tax for this 16-inch pizza, not that great of a deal. Um, you know, if it was cheaper, maybe it'd get up to a three-quarter thumbs up. I don't know. Um, so thanks a lot for watching Pizza Night tonight, and thanks guys for giving me ideas when I asked earlier what are we going to review today. Uh, Heather, I will probably be doing Lost Dog Cafe sometime soon. I didn't feel like driving to Columbia Pike tonight. Uh, been a long day. Anyway, um, also uh, another idea I, that I had is if you join the SAS page on Facebook, and you can do so by clicking on the uh, link in the description down below, um, we'll be playing a game all next week where you get to vote for what pizza I'm going to have next week. It's going to be called Pick My Poison Pizza Pizza Night next week, uh, which is, what, the uh, 16th or something like that of uh, <laughs> 16th of August, I believe is what it is. I don't know. Anyway, I can't count. So, yeah, uh, you're going to be voting for where I get the pizza from, whether it's store-bought or it's, uh, you know, carry-out or delivery. Uh, what company I get it from, what kind of crust, what kind of cheese, how much cheese, what kind of toppings. All of that will be voted on next week, and it will culminate with your choice of what I am going to eat on Pizza Night, what I will review on Pizza Night next week. So uh, check that out when you get a chance. Also, uh, follow me on Twitter at BrandonReichSAS. The handle is floating around somewhere there to remind you. Um, be sure to watch On the Road coming up this week. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Uh, Stay tuned to the SAS page or the Twitter to find out. Um, also, in a little bit more, less than two weeks, it's going to be the return of Bennigan's. Will I review the Monte Cristo? Will I review the Turkey Tool? I don't know. We'll find out in just about two weeks, a little bit less than two weeks. Um, running out of stuff to talk about. Thanks for watching uh, Pizza Night here at the SAS on Facebook, on YouTube, worldwide. In the meantime, in between time, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.